What's up everyone, today I'm gonna teach you how to draw more Pico from Pokemon Sword and Shield. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my welcome tablet, but you can follow through my tutorial with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie, or crayons. So I'm gonna start with drawing his left ear. So I'm gonna take a point here and draw a curve line upwards. And then as you reach the top, we're gonna twist it to the left. And then from that upper point, I'm gonna draw a curve line back down. And stop there. And then on the sides, I'm gonna draw a smaller portion of the ear. So I'm gonna draw a curve line outwards to the left. And then turn it sideways back to the head now we're gonna repeat the same shape on the right side but before that I'm gonna draw a curve line across from this point here to the right ear and then I'm gonna draw a similar shape but we're gonna make it slightly tilted to the side so I'm gonna draw a curve line out and then turn it back in. And then for the small portion, we're gonna draw a similar shape as the left side as well, like that. Now on the sides of the face, I'm gonna draw a curve line down from the ear and then curve it downwards. Same goes to the left side here. We're gonna draw a curve slightly out and down. And then for his arms, I'm gonna draw from this point a curve line outwards and then turn it back down. And then for the inner line of the arm, I'm gonna draw a curve line from this point here downwards. Now for his right arms, I'm gonna draw from this point here and draw a curve line upwards and to the right and then another small curve line for the thumb and I'm gonna add a ball inside his hands so I'm gonna draw a circle here and then at below the ball in the center here, I'm gonna draw a curve line back to the body for the outer line of the arm. Now below the arms on the right, I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards and then make a semicircle turn towards the feet. And then slightly off to the left, I'm gonna draw a curve line upside down between the legs and then mirror the the curve line on the sides on the right on this side up to the arm and then for his feet I'm gonna draw this from this point here and draw a curve line outwards and then make a semicircle turn back to the right and then curve it with the semicircle turn up and then we're gonna repeat the same shape for the right side now going back to his face I'm gonna draw a circle for his left eye here like that and the inside of that circle, I'm gonna draw a smaller circle. And then we're gonna repeat the same shape on the right side here and leave ample space between the eye. And then at the side top corner of his eyes here, I'm gonna draw a curve line upwards and make a zigzag turn all the way to the top part of the head and then we're gonna repeat the same shape on the left side here and then below the eye at the corner I'm gonna draw another circle 
like that and then the same goes to the left side here and then at the left right corner below that circle for the left side here I'm going to draw a zigzag downwards and then at this point I'm going to turn it to the side of the left side and then I'm going to just extend this line up to that line and then we're going to mirror that shape on the right side zigzag down and then turn it to the side now for his mouth I'm gonna draw a curve line across from this point tilt it slightly upwards as you reach the right side and I'm gonna make a semicircle turn downwards and then to the side and make another semicircle back to the point where we started and for his teeth, I'm going to draw from offset to the left a curve line downwards and make a semicircle turn up to the right. And above the mouth, we're going to draw a, his nose. So we're going to draw something like that. Okay? And that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and find my videos helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to let me know of your requests, suggestions, or any other comments in the comment section below.